Kathy Cochran lives in Longwood, has a nice house and a big yard, which she shares with her husband, mother-in-law, and yes, with her seven Shelties. She's a Sheltie lover from way back and has always had a warm spot in her heart for this furry, friendly breed. I grew up with Shelties. I'm all, everybody in my family had them, and my husband grew up with a Sheltie. And it was just, it was always our favorite breed. So we got Q and the rest is history. <laughs> After they got Q, Kathy and her husband became very involved in Sheltie Rescue and eventually were the proud owners of five more beautiful Shelties, Runt, Angel, Laddie, Petey, and Misty. But that wasn't enough. They wanted to do even more and couldn't refuse the chance to save just one more Sheltie in trouble. We've got six of our own, and we will only foster one at a time. Once we got the sixth one, we decided we were going to stop fostering, but it's kind of hard to say no when one comes up and he's stuck up there in animal control and nobody can get him out but you. What are you going to do? So we got him out. <laughs> he's here, so we got seven right now. <laughs> With all of these stunning Shelties prancing around her house, Kathy's brain began doing double time, thinking of ways her dogs could contribute to the cause of Sheltie rescue. Over time, she noticed her first Sheltie, Q, had a gift for working with his paws. She thought, maybe he could do more, so she put him to work. He paints. He paints with his paws. Um, he's been creating some beautiful abstracts, and. There are other dogs out there that paint, but most of the people dip the dog's paws in the paint and then they put the paws on the canvas. Q actually uses his paws and will scratch away at the canvas and create really pretty abstracts. Q the dog is named after the character on Star Trek named Q. Kathy and her husband think of him as the all-knowing and powerful Q dog. Around their house, he is the alpha dog and the leader of the entire group. When it comes to painting, he's got that covered too. I will put paint on the canvas, hold it up in front of him, and give him a command, either high five, and now he's getting used to the word paint, and he just starts going to town, smacking away at the paint. Q has been painting with his paws for about one year now and has created over 20 gorgeous pictures. His dexterity and creativity with his paws is really quite impressive. Here are some of the pictures Q has created. Yes, Kathy does help Q a little bit with his creativity. She makes it possible for him to express himself by holding the canvas, and she gives him incentive with yummy treats. Most of his pictures are very casual and free-flowing, while others are more structured. I don't know, just take some thinking about some creativity, and you gotta think about colors, and what colors are popular, and what people like, and what colors look good together. Who knows what he's going to come out with. <laughs> Since Kathy and her husband have become so involved in Sheltie Rescue, she knows how important it is for people to adopt a dog rather than buy one from a pet store. Kathy explains pet store puppies come from puppy mills where the parents are almost always abused, neglected, and filthy. She tells people whoever buys an animal from a pet store is funding this abuse. 
Adopting an animal from a rescue group, Kathy says, is a much better alternative. So she works hard to save homeless Shelties. What motivated me was seeing people sacrificing themselves. Yeah, I mean, truly sacrificing themselves, using every penny in their, in their savings account to help the animals, taking in tons of animals, women that were almost 70 years old. And I felt a little guilty because they were doing a lot more than I was doing. And um, even though I couldn't afford to give them a whole bunch of money out of my own pocket, I found a way to be able to raise money for them. Since Shelties are such a popular breed, rehoming needy Shelties is a huge ordeal. There are hundreds of Sheltie rescue groups across the country, as well as independent people running their own small Sheltie rescues. Kathy and Q have been working hard to help them all. And that's what, what we started focusing on were the independent people. And now it's, we've raised um, money for actual groups, as well as national Sheltie rescue, which gives funds to the, the smaller groups. A dog crafty enough to paint pictures is one thing, but getting the word out to raise enough money to help is another. That's where Kathy relies on her friends at various internet rescue groups. There are some groups that I belong to on the internet that do shelter rescue, and so I put out the words through them. And the word spread to one group, to another group, to different types of dog groups and animal groups, and before I knew it, I just had people from all over the place bidding. Kathy sells Q's artwork on eBay and all the proceeds are donated to Sheltie Rescue. So far, Q's pictures have raised over $5,000 to help homeless Shelties. All eBay buyers of Q's artwork receive a video of Q painting pictures and a certificate of authenticity. They've ranged anywhere from $55 for a small one up to um, about $300 for an 11 by 14. And of course, with the pigs collaboration, that one went for almost 600. Kathy and Q started out just helping Sheltie rescue groups, but have now moved on to helping other animals in need, namely a pig, a painting pig, who just so happens to be another four-legged animal artist. His name was Smithfield, or is Smithfield. He lives in Virginia, and he paints. And he's very well known. He had been on the Regis and Kelly show, and and Animal Planet, Nickelodeon, and he had raised a lot of money for charities. And I heard that he had had cancer and the owner was having a hard time paying for his treatment. And so I contacted the owner and just through um, us talking, she came up with the idea actually about having the two of them do a painting together because I had initially just planned on having Q do a painting to raise money for her. She said, well, why don't I have Smithfield start one, send it to you there in Florida and have Q add on to it. I'm like, that's a great idea. The word about Q and Smithfield's cooperative canvas hit newspapers, TV, and radio, and the finished piece sold for $585 on eBay. The money raised went towards Smithfield's radiation treatment. Who knows, we might venture out and do some other animals if we find out there's somebody out there that really needs help financially, but so far it's, it's mostly for Shelties. Teaching her dog to paint pretty pictures was a small price to pay to be able to help hundreds of needy Shelties find a good home. Now, ask yourself, what can you do? Kathy encourages anyone thinking about getting a purebred dog to look at local rescue groups first. If you would like more information on local rescue groups in your area or would like to view Q's artwork in more detail, visit their website by typing Painting Sheltie on any internet search engine.